back when we were diagnosed, the, the average age lifespan for someone who had Fabry was 40 to 45, uh, for the males, that is. And I saw most of my uncles on my mom's side of the family die when they were between 40 and 45. And, you know, you, when you're diagnosed with it and you watch this happen, it's like, well, what do I do, you know? Live my life up because I'm going to die when I'm 45 or, or what? But, you know, with all the advancements in, in the medical and living a different lifestyle than they did, uh, making sure that I eat healthier. Uh, I'm 51, so I'm kind of past my expiration date. The way I describe it is every nerve in your body firing at the same time. And these can last for hours or they can last for days. And it is very, uh, it's very painful. I mean, it really hurts. And there were times that I, when I swear my hair hurt. It, it was so bad. So we get what's called the Fabry fog. Some days you're clear thinking and other days I forget words. With Fabry, you don't sweat and you can't regulate your body temperature. After the few years on the infusions, I started to sweat, and then it's like, okay, this is, this is nice now, after you get used to it. Now, the, the motivations are simple that um, if it's not gonna help me, it's gonna further the education on Fabry disease and the research, and it may help somewhere down the line.